Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Aries. Alrighty guys, for July 2021, this is our uh, first career and money reading and I apologize for being a little late and uh, pushing these guys out, but you know what, a little bit of busyness, a little bit of, uh, you know what, a few days on vacation and here you are and time flies. So Aries. 10 cards you guys know the structure of the spread we are doing is in a description box and we are looking at okay the month of july 2021 now being a general reading we're going to try and puzzle a question from the first two positions and then i will follow with some notes on each position you guys if you want to dive in detail uh, you have these in the description box let me check that we are in frame which we are good 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 aries so time to reset the year it is time to you know what push back into some kind of a happy normal i'm looking at a queen of swords as a beginning i'm looking at a hint towards authority status and right next to it i'm looking at the world okay so completion of the big goal fulfillment of the big goal and also suggestion when we see the world so it can really mean the world with that meaning as if to say the market as if to say uh, the business world that you are in so a wholesome goal we have ahead of us uh, perhaps also a need for an upgrade into uh, what you do in terms of next level up so we're looking at the perspective of someone who's employed seeking the management upgrade or someone who's seeking a job okay so that authority thingy here with uh, queen of swords that could be the position itself it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you start you always have to start from zero to get into a management role and so on and so forth and also if you are self-employed a business owner uh, and so on and so forth all righty so beginning with queen of swords and the world immediate effort we are doing is gathering information is working up the best perfect plan okay because you are aware that you are about to be causing a change that change is well thought out so aries with the sword here is making bold and big moves and they do not necessarily have to mean aries is running away no no so we have we'll talk about that okay we'll talk about the fool in a bit but i feel like you are um, causing a shakeup to an org chart trying to work on that and maybe also a philosophy of business okay that you are uh, about to regenerate if you will a big event aries that you are working on could be as well because we have some really really elevated energies here okay so the kind of change we are trying to change we are kind of um, in control of all right we are factual we have a queen of swords we have a queen of coins queen of swords sees no bs the queen of swords is able to do research so research for the aries who is seeking the authority deeper into the needs of the other party the needs of the other party be it the market you work in the market you try to sell to or your stakeholders that you are trying to sell to remember we don't have to be in sales to be selling every day you and i we are all selling and buying something a lot of those are concepts and thoughts so being factual and also an invite for patience because the queen of coins as an immediate effort is an understanding effort that certain steps have to fall into place certain research has to jive certain numbers have to be you know what well aligned in order for you to be causing this change and keep looking again and i'll keep seeing you like that and pointing to two queens and pointing to the world card in between them okay there's a lot of detail here about this task about this big mission all right what those three cards are suggesting to me is that you're causing a big change okay this change may upset some alrighty but you're factual you're methodical you're sharp you're sticking to your program with all these energies and you are able to create and this is your strength Aries is that we have the Empress here we have the energy of creation based on foundation but also based on things making sense things make sense when the research has been done things make sense when it's been considered from different viewpoint 
based on different persona that may evaluate and assess the offer you're presenting, the resume you're presenting, the ask for the upgrade you're presenting, or you satisfying yourself that the following investment, okay, because you're making a change here. So Aries, the self-employed, whatever it is, the next big move is different from what you are used to. Now, when you are playing with your own money, very different game, Aries. And you guys know that. So the Empress as a key strength also suggests um, modesty and humility in areas where we don't know. So we see guidance, okay? But um, what can I say? What a, what, a hopeful, what a hopeful energy here when you think of uh, she's the divine feminine. That's the divine feminine. That's the creation um, without limitation, if you will. Uh, but being grounded still and being factual. So beautiful, beautiful personality traits pop up here too. Beautiful personality traits. Uh, for someone who is causing a change, you do need that. You do need that when people, even the simplest of behaviors, are hard to change. Imagine when you have I'm just saying this, throwing this out. Imagine when you have innovation, people are afraid of change. And I don't know why, but uh, well, people are afraid of what they don't know. So with that kind of persona, Aries, okay, when you are causing the change, guess what? This kindness is able to assure others that you're in their corner. Then they give you back support. You're able to assure others that the change, if they trust you, is something they can handle, etc., etc. I don't know why. It feels to me like somebody is looking to open up a new market here. And they're doing a lot of that research and they're reaching out to the world. And this is a change from the norm they are used to. But they will be able to because they'll get the support from others. And that another key strength here is that being sharp, but the completion of knowledge is what brings the opportunity. Finish up your market research, okay? Finish up your market research, be the king of swords, and the creation happens naturally. And your outlook on that situation is there is a need for change. There is a need for a new, I won't say adventure, but a new approach, a new path, a new way of doing things. It's as if you're saying insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a new result. So uh, you've reached that conclusion, Aries. You have that oomph to take that task on. And you have energies here that say, boy, with so much ambition, are you ever, ever, ever calculated? Are you ever, ever methodical? Are you ever conscious of how others may respond? So um, by this point here, I'm forming an opinion that you have a big goal ahead of you. The number seven comes up as to the timing. It relates to you gaining the confidence, assuring yourself that you have done that kind of planning. The number seven also, as it relates to confidence, may suggest to you that things pick up or the opportunity materializes once you've relayed that confidence to whom? To others. Others being your stakeholders, others being your buyers, others being your Team members who need to buy in in order for this big goal to be achieved, in order for this major change to take place. Alrighty, alrighty. Now, the purpose behind it is wholesome again. And here's an ace that feeds, that could feed a lot. Here's, you know what, one of the great leaks, if you will, in terms of giving ability. Okay, the ace of cups. A wholesome goal, considering others. Um, considering a comfy life, considering a new beginning, um, and also changing things in the area of finances. So the outcome here is you're winning the change that you are causing, and I love it. And here's another five of cups. We began and we said your immediate outcome was you're trying to change something in a status quo. You've done a lot of research here, okay, to understand the world of that new adventure. You have that oomph, you have that energy to take on the new task. But remaining methodical, remaining kind, okay, getting more from people, establishing people's buy-in with you, truly, truly completes your plan. Allows this King of Swords to be the opportunity. Okay, you're up to 90% in your research, but others are going to add to that a portion, and that's going to complete your plan. That's going to allow the fool to move on with confidence. 
natural pl process for you here, Aries. Really on the timing, the number is seven. What does seven mean? Are we in month number seven? Maybe. Take that with a grain of salt. But I'm saying others buying in gives you, it's as if you're saying, oh, here it comes. Others buying in. As if you want to know if the market will accept that particular solution, service, or if this group will accept that Aries, okay? Then you have the confidence and things happen naturally. Super, ultra, duper positive. Now, just for fun, just for fun, let's do three. Okay, let's end up with a, a strength and something to watch out for. And another note about an opportunity. Okay, actually, there is this other three card spread Aries that I'm now thinking, okay, what to let go of, what to embrace, and best path forward. Let go, embrace, best path forward. Let go of perhaps too much creativity without ground. Uh, embrace the new change. Alrighty, best path forward, facts, swords. So, what to let go of? Um, again, over creativity with only, you know what, uh, I'm going to, like big words, okay, big talk. This is here, fire element, I'm trying to find my word, I'm, try I'm looking at that cup of coffee here, seeing if it will spell the word for me. No, um, ambition without facts can be a deterrent, okay? What to embrace your ability to rebuild yourself. Your best path, path forward is with this perfect factual plan. I love it. And thank you to a lady named, um, her channel is what? Aurora? Yeah. Aurora Tower. Okay. Aurora Tower. And she's actually very, very good. I'm going to put a mention to her channel, but such a nice, you know, a three card spread. What to let go of, what to embrace, best path forward. Thank you, Aries, so much. With that being said, I hope you guys liked the reading. Would love it if you would subscribe and comment. You guys are so amazing and you have an amazing goal ahead of you, okay? We have a reinvention here of an Aries. So, love you guys madly and bye for now.